let's go in crude oil. Beautiful move to the downside. Let's take a look at our trend chart, first of all. All right, trend chart just caught this swing just at around almost 8.15 this morning. So just around 10, 15 minutes ago, we're looking at this sell setup, negative market delta, full retracement. Now this is off the larger time frame. You typically get bigger moves off the larger time frame. So you can see that was a nice uh, a steady move down. We had uh, counter trend traders coming in with a positive market delta. That's the wrongly positioned traders. We're gonna look to sell the full retracement with market delta. So that's a larger time frame. You can see that we've been in a downtrend since midnight. I call the session midnight. We actually opened up at 6 p.m. the night before, 6 p.m. Eastern. But I call a session from midnight because that's usually where the action starts. And we've been in a downtrend right there, small below the intermediate, intermediate below the larger MA. So we just been taking sell setups would be your bias all morning. Let's take a look at the smaller time frame. So what you can do is you can actually look at getting in smaller time frames. And this just absolutely nailed it this morning again. We, we've we been on fire with this setup all week. If you look, uh, since I had this up Monday through Friday, this thing has just been going to work on a daily basis. If we take a look at uh, the five Simrenko, this is our smaller time frame. Five Simrenko. There's your cross down. Where's my first retracement? Right there, full retracement. It's got to get above 90%. Look at my trend filter built in into the algorithm right there into my Rinko bar that has a trend filter, negative market delta called the high. It actually only went up one tick higher than that. And look at that sell off since eight o'clock this morning. We're talking around a 69 fill, 69 fill. Right, so depending if you look at the bottom of the fill, if you jump right on it, you're talking about 63 should have been your lowest fill in the trade. So we're looking at 54.63. We're all the way down to as low as 53, almost 100 tick trade just after 8 o'clock. The stop loss on that, if you're using the 4 Simrinko, was $110. That's a 10 to 1 reward to risk trade. We just had another one fire off here. We had two back to back. So let's say you missed that one. No worries. We're in a hard downtrend off the large time frame. Look how this methodology works so well. I get into a full retracement. There's my full retracement. Look at that full retracement above 90%. The reason this works so well, this doesn't work very good. If you, when you get the back testing software in your own hands, doesn't work very well in minute charts. Range bars are terrible. Minute charts are terrible. They're way too lagging. Uh, tick charts don't work as well. Share charts don't work as well. Even standard Rinko bars, you're going to see the accuracy is not as good as this Rinko with the trend filter. That's why these setups work so well. So the Rinko bar, that's why we build our own server. We build our own server to lock this thing. We had it locked so we didn't have to get this out to the public. A lot of Rinko bars you can get your hands on. Can't get your hands on this guy. So there is another full retracement. Let's look at the next one. This thing's four for four this morning since midnight. Four for four on the smaller time frame. Four winners, no losers in the last eight and a half hours. If I look right here also, here we go again, full retracement. Do we have negative market delta? Sure do. Negative market delta was right there at the high. There she goes rolling over. All right, just happened one just a second ago before I got on the mic. Do we come into full retracement above 90% for sales? Yes, we do. Do I have negative market delta? Yes, I do. There you go again. That's the rhythm, how we like to trade. Look at this thing still going down. We're at 56 now. 56. This is how we trade the markets, guys and gals. The accuracy is uncanny with this system when you know what you're doing. Now, like I said, what we're going to be getting out to you guys, and we're going to have a conference call on this next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern, you can back test this setup and look at all the thousands of trades it's done on any market, S&P, NASDAQ futures, you know, the gasoline, heating oil, you like copper, trade copper, soybeans, corn, any, any really commodity too, 
Euro, British Pound, you like doing Forex, cross pairs, or against the U.S. dollar. If you like doing ETS, works on ETS. If you like doing stocks, same thing, works on stocks. The template works on everything. Doesn't matter. All right. What we're trying to do is we're trying to sell full retracement with the overall trend direction. Full retracement off trend direction. So if I look here on my large time frame, just had another one that fired off here. Large time frame. There's your negative market delta, large time frame. There's your negative market delta. So check this out. So that's our larger time frame, and here's our smaller time frame. All right, look how they work in combination with each other. Let me blow this up so you can get a big idea of what's going on. That's the whole entire session. Let me get to the whole entire session. Just don't cherry pick trades. Let's look at the whole session for the last eight and a half hours. There you go. One, two, three, four, five for five, working on six for six right now. One, two for two on the large time frame. Actually, count this one, but that's like right at one o'clock in the morning, so I'm not going to count that. But two for two on the large time frame. One, two, three, four, five for five, working on six for six right now at a full retracement. Look at it respond. Look at it respond off. Of, look at that. Look how she's going down again. Full retracement as we see it live. Negative market delta. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, one, two, three, four, five for five now. See how that works? What we're trying to do is we're trying to sell retracements. It's like a rubber band. If my left hand was right here on this candle, and I take a rubber band, I stretch it all the way up to these symmetry dots, and I let go of it, you have a natural retracement. It's going to come right back and snap back. These are snapback trades. That's why they work so well. All right? So when you... What we're adding to the software with no additional charge, we're adding backtesting software to backtest these setups just like this on any time frame, on any market. And then you're going to see how accurate this is. It's really, really powerful. All right, we've got to sell retracements with overall trend direction. That's the key. Sell retracements with trend direction. Sell retracements, trend direction. The only time we count a trend trade is if we are what? Get back inside developing profile. Now, that being said, and Joe, you can shut that off in a second. Just wait one sec. That being said, that's pretty much, you can make trading that simple. This chart and this chart. I can trade off these two charts with market delta below and trade any given market, any given time, any given day. No matter what market it is, doesn't matter what day it is, news or no news, non-volatile or volatile days, these two charts, actually these three together, let me put them right here. These three charts right there is a trading system all by itself. Because just like this last sell setup that happened right here, did we have negative market delta? Negative market delta is between the bid and the ask. Did we have negative market delta? Yes, we did. We had it right here, negative market delta. So if I look at these swing highs, did we have negative market delta in these swing highs? Everyone had negative market delta, negative market delta, negative market delta. This last trade, negative market delta. So these three charts by themselves on any given market, I don't care what market you look at, it does not matter. This is plug and play. It will show you the sweet spot on the retracement. Now, let's take it a step further. Let's take it a step further by these little arrows that pop up. Do you have to have the arrows? No. But when the arrows pop off, it tells you I'm in a sweet spot on retracement. What do I mean by that? These arrows automatically came up this morning, right here. These red arrows, right when these bars closed. What do they mean? That means the market's in a sweet spot on a retracement. Typically, the market retraces between 50 to 76% retracement on any given time frame. What I did is I programmed to let these arrows fire off if I'm in that sweet spot. So now, not only am I at a full retracement, look, let's look at this trade here real quick, and I'm going to show you how I put this all together to give you extra confluence on the trade. We already know by itself a, a retracement with my trend filter works very well. I'm just showing you the accuracy is uncanny. Yesterday, it nailed 
the market again. Let's look at this trade setup. I'm at a full retrace above 90%. The arrow fire is telling me I'm in a sweet spot on the Fibonacci area. My SIM dots, which are the red dots and blue dots, the cyan dots, they tell me red dots are resistance, blue dots are for support when it's in an uptrend. So if I'm in a downtrend, if I'm in a downtrend, I would love to see us come up and test these SIM dots. I designed them for scaling technique, and it just so happened they're great for support and resistance. I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of traders around the world that love these things. Now, we don't lease those. It's a one-time fee of 300 bucks. Have them for life. But, man, I can't tell you how many traders love trading off these things. I They're, to me, a secondary or a third indicator. They can't be used by themselves because they're not – use for just support and resistance but man when you get a full retracement on the symmetry tots <clears throat> in a downtrend my MAs are in a downtrend I don't use MAs for support and resistance I use them for trend direction so if I'm in a downtrend I'm in a full retracement here and if I see that automated Fibonacci arrow fire off on my symmetry dots are you kidding me are you kidding me because now I got one two three market delta four Four times confluence at one spot on four different type of indicators. Four. If I look over here on this trade that happened over here where the, the arrow is right here, I got the symmetry dot resistance, Fibonacci arrow, symmetry dots, negative market delta, and at a full retracement. That's how we trade the system. Now, let me take it a step further. So I can trade the markets just with these three, three setups. I mean, these three charts all by themselves. Any market, any given day, any time. I know when the market is in a high probability situation for a possible setup, high probability setup. Take a step further. What is this chart over to the far left then? How, why do I even need this chart over here? This chart is market profile. And I'm a big, giant fan of market profile. Peter Stoudemire came out with market profile in 1985. He came out with price profile. Then in 1994, he came out with uh, volume profile. I show both price, volume, and developing profile. Why is this so important? Because I know that on any given day that these will give natural support and resistance levels based upon the volume coming in the market. That's not my opinion. That's not your opinion. That's all the volume coming in the market. All this, These are electronically traded markets. So that's all the Goldman trades. That's all the algorithms out there. That's all the professional traders, amateur traders, prop firms, doesn't matter. That red, blue, thick line is volume coming in the market. It's going to tell me where natural support and resistance is. The important thing is this. If I get outside of all these lines, if I get outside of all these profile levels, you are in what's called a black hole. A black hole is when you back the truck up because you possibly have a huge possible runner on your hands. There's no underlying support in the market. So as we took trades all the way down, and this started here at 8 o'clock, it broke. 8 o'clock, it broke. So let's take a look at trades at 8 o'clock after breaking low value area support, and there's no support below me. None. None. I'm below volume, price profile of the dots, developing profiles this thin green line. As long as I stay below this thin green line, you better not take any longs, or you deserve to lose money. You deserve to get stopped out. You deserve to lose money to professional traders because you don't know what you're doing. This is the inside of the market. This is not my opinion. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to yourself. This thin line is the inside of the market telling you where the volume's at and where it's developing. If it's below the green line, then we know that we must take shorts. So let's take a look at it after 8 o'clock. After 8 o'clock, do we have any trades on the long time frame? Yep. There's your full retracement, full retracement. There's your two trades. Market profile confirmed we're headed southbound on the Greyhound. Let's look at after 8 o'clock here. After 8 o'clock, do we have any trades? One. Two. Three. Four. Potentially number five if we get negative market delta. So now what I'm doing is I'm saying, hey, I've got two charts that will tell me on a full retracement by itself with market delta how to fire in the trades, all by itself. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add market delta, market profile in here. And you probably think, well, do you need market profile? No, you do not. Is it very beneficial? 
Absolutely. Because if I know I'm below all support and resistance levels, then they're going to mark the market up or they're going to mark the market down hard on you. In other words, they're going to catch the rolling position traders all the way down and catch all the counter trend traders all the way up. All these counter trend traders got their butts kicked this morning, and they deserve to lose because they're not educated. If you think you can catch the falling knife in a downtrend like this, good luck. I've never seen one counter trend trader make money, and I've trained hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of traders. I was a guest speaker at Las Vegas Trade Show with over 6,000 traders around the world, and I did not talk to one trader, not one, out of 6,000 traders that made money counter trend trading. So what makes you better than all the traders around the world? You're not. You're not going to be successful at counter trend trading. You must buy and sell retracements to trend because that's order flow. That's not my opinion. That's the order flow of the market. This is the order flow of the market. And you don't think a market profile is important? Let's look at gold here this morning. Let's look at gold in the breakout. I'll bring it over here on the video. Look at gold. What I just tell you if you break out of HVA, they're going to try to mark the market up. Look at the break retest trade right here. Broke out, retest the market profile at 15.10. At 15.10, we got a buy set up just after, what, 8.15 this morning. So if I look at right at 8, after 8.15 this morning, do I have a full retracement? Let me bring it over to you. Absolutely. Now I got market profile on a full retracement. Check this out. There is a nice buy. Moving averages are in an uptrend. Positive market delta. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Full retracement. Positive market delta. Okay. Well, how about my small time frame? If I've been in an uptrend and I, I retested that 815, do I have any trades on the small time frame? Did it get me in on the small time frame? It sure did. It's been in an uptrend since 8 o'clock this morning. Did it get a full retracement? Sure did. Boom. Right there. Look at this. Another one. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous looking chart. Where am I at here? Hold on one sec. Full retracement. Right there. Look at that. Full retracement. Another full retracement. Did it get you in? Pause the market delta. My point is, this last one too, on the way up. My point is, it doesn't matter what market you look at. This is plug and play. Market profile combined with my full retracements, with my Fibonacci areas, are really, really accurate. And you're not, don't take my word for it. You're going to get back testing software to test this as long as you want. Every single trade it would take between what time frame you're looking at, what time frame you're looking at, and then also we're going to give you the time frames that we show in the room. These are templates automatically set up. These are plug and play templates. So it doesn't matter. If I if I pull this one up, if I pull this up right here, it doesn't matter what market I'm looking at. I can pull up any market, and it's the same exact rhythm. And I got a lot of charts out to you a couple days ago. I got you gold, NASDAQ futures, Dow minis. If you have a chart, if you have a market that you need to look at, send me an email. Send me an email, and I'll show you a chart of the entire trading session. I won't cherry pick trades. I'll show you the entire trading session on a market on these time frames because I know the accuracy. The accuracy is excellent when these things match up. All right, so that's what we try to do, full retracements with trend direction. Now, you probably ask, lastly, what is this far chart to the right? You're asking, why do I have this small little chart hanging out here with no retracement indicator? What this is, is this is a momentum indicator. And what a momentum indicator is, is if I get these Fibonacci arrows that fire off on this, this is a smaller time frame, this is a three Simrenko. If I get these Fibonacci arrows to fire off right here, so I'm firing Fibonacci arrows here. Let's take a look at it. 822. It gives you confluence. Am I a full retracement right there? Look at this. Look at that full retracement right here at this level, this one. That full retracement. I had double arrows that fired that it's at a perfect Fibonacci spot at a full retracement at resistance. So I used that far right chart for confluence. So that trade that that white arrow's on had five times confluence. Five different indicators said to sell that exactly at that exact bar. 
when it closed red. Five different indicators can flute at the exact same point in time. Exactly. At the same point in time, all five agreed. That's called confluence. That's what we need to do. And that's what with this algo that I'm getting out to you guys and gals, that's what it's about. It's going to show you where these high probability setups are.